This is a demonstration of my final year project so far. The project is to create a robot arm control system which allows the user to accurately control a robot arm over a network using XYZ coordinates. These coordinates are read from what I call an input arm, which is an arm without motors but with a potentiometer on each joint to uh, read the angle and then those angles are converted into the coordinates of the tip of the arm. So what this means is you move one arm and the other will move to point to the same coordinates. I made the arms myself out of aluminium box section which is cheap and light um, and some grub screws so that they're adjustable in size. This one is actually the input arm and uh, inside that servo case is nothing but the potentiometer. I've stripped out the motor and the circuitry. Uh, it, I chose to do that because then the arms would be identical in size and they've got all the nice fittings as well and the bearings and uh, the gear train to stop it from slipping. I also modified the servos on the output arm so that I could read back the position of the servo at any one time and that's uh, the red wire on this picture and in the main uh, film you'll see the green wires coming out of the arm. The only use at the moment for this is at startup. Before I put them in, the servo controller would have to start at some point. So say it was zero. If the arm was at any other point, the servo controller would tell the servo to go to zero and it would swing around wildly. Um, so I added in this uh, these extra wires and uh, now when it comes on it reads the position and the controller starts at that position so there's a, a very slight jolt as it turns on but that's it it starts up in a much more controlled way this is a single board computer I chose it's a Technologic Systems 7200 board uh, it runs Linux off of a compact flash it's got an onboard A to D converter up here and uh, the yellow plug you can see uh, leads to the potentiometers on the input arm. The A to D converter reads the value of each joint and then these values are then converted through a set of equations into XYZ coordinates which are then packetized and sent to the server board which then decodes it puts it through another set of uh, equations and turns it into the correct servo values and sends that to the PIC based servo controller. Here's another quick demonstration of the arm in action. You can see about this point that the uh, output arm is at a much bigger angle than the input arm and that's because the input arm's about five centimeters longer um, on both parts so uh, the output arm has to lean forward and open out just a bit more to reach the same coordinates um, that's just done automatically by the uh, equations Here you can see that I'm moving the input arm, but sometimes the output arm doesn't move. The reason for this is the difference in size. Um, you can occasionally send it coordinates that the output arm can't reach, and what it does in that eventuality is just wait until real coordinates come in. In the future, I'm going to change it so that it moves to the closest possible position instead of just waiting. 